Hey everybody, so I am back with another quick vape video. Um, so I figured out how to do the bang. Finally, so this one, however, is exactly how they explain it. I really don't have any additional tips and tricks from everyone who's taught you how to do it. It's exactly how you do it. Um, I'm actually using my oil that I was talking about prior to buying that batch one, which is the Melon by All Natural. This one does have nicotine, so I'm trying not to pull too much because it will choke me. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's like ee, showing your front teeth, but not all the way. So the air, you're going to hold your breath, like they say, and you're going to let the vape come out. You're going to inhale it into your nose and that's it is like nothing special you're gonna hold your jaw out not, not like me forward so just a little bit though so let me show you what it, let's see if I can do it on camera like last time I haven't perfected it you know but you get the gist so I, I figured out how to do it I did figure out how to do the French inhaler or inhale it's the same thing but you're not showing your teeth well your teeth are not your lip isn't down or whatever you want to say um you're just letting the air and it's going to sneak up into your nose Woo! <laughs> so the next one i'm actually trying to figure out how to do is the the three or the four i don't i don't remember what it's called um, but you have like three, you have the main one and you have the three coming out. It's like a, a, a partial smile, but you're blowing straight down first. So you're blowing straight down, excuse me, <laughs> and then you're going to halfway smile to get it to come out. I'm still working on this. They were saying it's like muscle memory with this one. I can't figure out how to do it. So... <laughs> If you have any help, help me. I want to know how to do that one too. I'm, I owe. I have not even come close to figuring out how to blow O. So help your sister out. However, I did learn a tip and a trick. So your wonderful freaking coils in the inside. You have to be very careful. This is what they're not telling new vapors in any of the videos I've watched. And I watched a lot more since the last time. <laughs> but they're not telling you that. Uh, even though they say, you know, make sure you check the, the percentages of what's in your, your coil oil. However, what they're not saying is, if you get cheaper oils, you will burn through freaking coils like it's no tomorrow. I bought a grape flavored um, oil, coil oil, I, I guess it's oil, whatever. And it tastes so good. Like, I was like huffing and puffing like a freaking choo-choo train. However... It burned. I changed it out like a day before. I burned through the, the coil in two days. I was like, what? Maybe I, maybe I didn't put it in right, you know, because I don't know. So I went to the shop. I got another one. I burned through that one in two days. So I, I, I looked it up, and I talked to my uncle. She's been vaping for quite a few years. And, yes, if you get a cheap oil, okay, it will burn the crap out of your coil. All right? And you do not want to pay like $7 or $45 for a whole pack. Um like you will burn through so make sure you get quality oils i'm going to look for a quality purple one i might i think all natural has one and i'm just going to get theirs because i'm not trying to do that that was like i found a place where i can get them for 5.33 a pop but prior to that i was paying seven dollars a piece from the place that's near my house so that is a wonderful tip to know okay if you're paying about 13 dollars for your oil chances are you're gonna burn through your freaking, unless you find a good one, you're going to burn through your freaking coil. So, that is all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye. Oh, you better stop. Oh, you better stop. Oh, you better stop.